update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, Thursday morning, 30 minutes into the trading day, and all the markets catching a bid right now, folks. We get the S&Ps up 45 points. That's 1.03% in the green. We got it all back this week, folks. We're going to have a weekly positive action bar in the S&P. Remarkable to think about when you think about the Monday that we had. Look at that bar forming on the weekly that we're talking about there on the S&P. We're up at 44.29 right, right now, back to a short-term chart. NASDAQ up 117 points. You could say the NASDAQ lagging a bit, up only eight tenths percent as you have the S&P up more than one percent. Got the Dow up 1.2 percent right now, more than a thousand points off of the lows we had on Monday, and the Russell up 1.2% as well. Tough day for gold. Gold down $28 at $17.50 right now. You saw the volatility yesterday on the Fed announcement, but really the volatility began about 8 a.m. this morning from $17.75 down to $17.50 in gold. Silver is down $0.31 cents at $22.59, and we'll jump to notes and bonds right now. We're talking about a yield currently sitting on the 10-year of 1.36%. And the 10-year is negative eight ticks at one third. Yep, 132.23. The 30-year is minus 13 ticks at 163.11. I talked about it during the program, folks. The VIX talk about getting volatility sucked out of this market. Volatility premium, at least, down to 18.72. Uh, as traders seem a little bit more uh okay with buying that dip today monday's fears look to be gone but i don't think that's how it works folks uh i think there was more going on in that market on monday than though you would like to think potentially in that market all right let's jump around to some of the stocks that are moving today salesforce we have some salesforce in my newsletter rocket equities and options they're up 4.6 today 4.6 percent i should say as they raise their guidance Trading up, uh, Roku shares trading higher on an upgrade as well. Roku's up about 3.5% to 336. Let's jump around to some of the banks trading higher, extending the gains from yesterday. JP Morgan up 2.2%, Bank of America up 2.4% right now. Wells Fargo up a half a percent and Citi up 2.4%. Thanks so much for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We got Basil Chapman coming up right now. We got Fast Market at 11, live programming after that, folks. Stay tuned, we'll be right back.